Hi, this is Ginger Cook, and today I thought it would be really fun to show you how to use something called string gel. And it's a thick honey-like medium. It's made by Liquitex. Other companies kind of try to imitate it. I've never found anything I like quite as well. And I'm going to show you kind of an unorthodox way to use it. It's not the way most people use it. We're going to do something different, okay? So what I want to do is I want to make a picture. Let's move our little thing out of the way. Here's one of our paintings that we do on our gingercooklive.gallery. Every week we do something different. And they're six by eight. These are small. And people say, what can I do with this picture? So I've got a lot of little ones. So every uh, Tuesday night uh, at 7.30, Wednesday afternoons, we do a live class, and I do them small. And then during the week we do these larger ones, which you could also use this with too, but the string gel with. So I promised everybody I'd show you how to use it. Now, this is a piece of uh, just wax paper underneath there, gray wax paper. I'm going to open up the string gel. And I'm going to... Um, Peel off the seal like that. Get that out of the way. All right, now the thing is, it's it's going to dry like clear, but it goes on thick like honey. You see that? You're going, oh, I don't know, Ginger. This looks pretty pretty scary. Okay. Yes, it does. So now I'm going to take a kind of a flat a palette knife like that, and I'm going to spread this over the top of the canvas like this. And... And you've, you've got just minutes to work with this. And it's not necessarily going to be even like if you use pouring medium. It is flat, and that's why I'm being very careful to um, to try to... It'll, it'll flatten out. It's kind of self-flattening, but I, on the other hand, I want to make sure I'm going clear to the edges on this. So that I don't have a... You know, I don't want any high spots. I'm going to just pour off a little more here like that. I'm going to turn this around. And you, this is like spreading frosting or, you know, peanut butter or something very gently and you want it to go off the edges and you don't want any high spots and you just want if you get it too thick this this takes one to five days to dry depending on how thick you made it um, I, I'm not a big fan of doing double coats you can kind of see it will dry clear like I put this under glass and sometimes they get there there will be bubbles sometimes you'll see a few bubbles in this and that's just part of the medium it's not like a an epoxy resin where you can take um, a heat gun or something and blow those out okay, and if I just sort of tap this up and down like this I'm going to just sort of self level it you can kind of do a little of this kind of tip it I feel like I'm, I'm missing a little bit right here on the edge right here like that just or I've got ooh, and I missed a spot right there I'll take a little bit just catch that edge it's kind of tricky and you may not like this I love the effect it makes it look like the whole picture is behind behind glass and the trick is to just leave it on something you're not going to glue it to so one of the things I like to do is put it up on something higher now I think this is this is this is fine I don't think I've got it and you want to make it level boy if, you, if this doesn't stay level you're in trouble see I'm kind of just tapping it here like this and making sure I don't have any real high spots like this looks where I put that extra gel looks a little high right there to me okay so I mean it's a little tricky to do and, I, and, and this is I've done this on giant pieces and uh, because you get bubbles in it occasionally some people may not like this but I personally absolutely love the effect of string gel so now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to just come over here I, I made a little tray and I've got some little caps from bottles and I'm just going to set it right here like this and just let this be for uh, to, about 24 hours okay that's all we're going to do and I'll put the put the, and you can see it used about uh, out of this whole um, little string gel jar which was Oh, let's see how many ounces was this it was a 237 millimeter jar okay I, I used about um, a quarter of an inch of it all right I didn't use that much I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap back on now here's the deal don't dink with this don't touch it just leave this we'll do a, a reveal uh, make sure you get this all off your tools and, and it's gonna drip over the edge and that's fine we don't mind um, I know there's part of you wants to just, even me, wants to keep touching it. Try not to. 
Okay, I'm not touching it anymore. This is going in uh, to, uh, into water. I'm going to clean up both palette knives. It's all going to be fine. This will sit flat on the floor somewhere and just dry. And when it dries, it's going to dry clear as glass. And then, I'll, then we'll put it in a frame. I think these are really pretty. So that's what we're going to do with this, okay? Check back with me. In, um, well, the next time you see the camera, I'll show you the reveal. Okay, so we've given this uh, 48 hours to dry. And the reason being is that sometimes it will look dry to on top. And if you have this very thick, it won't be. And if you turn it... Uh, you know, kind of vertical, you can get some runs. But look, this is totally dry, and you see it's very shiny. And you're going, I don't know, it's hard for the camera to pick up how beautiful. You see how it looks like it's got glass on it? Isn't that pretty? Now here's a, just a regular uh, painting without without that on it. And maybe that will kind of help you kind of see the difference between, you know, how much shinier this looks when you put the string gel. And these are perfect for these little things. And then what I would do with this, because I think this is sort of nice, and this has got a nice protective coating on it, I will just then take this and put it in a little 6x8 frame. I got these over at Jerry's Artorama in Houston. Now, people don't realize it, but they carry these frames, which is kind of neat. And what we're going to do here is just, we're going to go ahead and put this in the frame, which will be super easy, because all you need is one of, you've probably seen my video on how to do that, but I'll just do it for you real quick. Now what you want to have is like a little foam core, something behind it, another piece to make this a little thicker and to hold this flat. And then I'll just uh, take our little uh, nail gun like this and do this. Just put a little brown in it here like this and like this. And then maybe one up here. This will hold this down nice and flat. Okay, like that, just like that. Now let me just turn this over for you and let you look. And look how pretty, let's just back this up now, back our video up. Look how pretty this looks with our our frame in it. Alright, so I'm going to back, go ahead and back the video up a little bit. Look at that. Isn't that, isn't that lovely? It's got a little bit of this chipped edge. I think these frames are around $40 at Jerry's. You can see that that's, that would be a nice, you know, piece maybe to hang, you know, maybe in a, a bathroom or something like this. Uh, I don't know, uh, but you can put anything in one of these frames, and again, this is just how we did it. So, okay, so that's how we're using string gel. That's how we're using string gel to create a look of glass without actually putting glass over the piece. So, all right, that's our tip for the day. Hope you liked it. Please uh, feel free to catch me at gingercooklive.gallery, and where we add more lessons every week. I will zoom in a little bit so you can see this, but I think that's just absolutely perfect. There we go. Mardi Gras mask using string gel.